What's up everybody? So how are you doing? And I mean like for realsies, how are you actually doing? I don't know about you, but my personality is one where I feel like I'm doing fine, doing fine, doing fine, and then I'll literally wake up one morning and not so fine, really not so fine. Well, today that happened to me. I'm not doing so well. And because of the nature of the pandemic, we are undergoing a collective trauma right now. And as you all know, when people experience trauma, there can be repercussions. So I printed out the secondary traumatic stress scale. I haven't filled it out just yet. We're gonna fill it out together. I have a feeling the results are gonna be interesting. Welcome to Private Practice Skills, and you're looking at a therapist who is currently experiencing a severe range of secondary traumatic stress. I'll leave links to where you can access the secondary traumatic stress scale, as well as the ProQual measure, which is a measure of compassion fatigue and I've found really helpful along the way as well. Because you know what? I have a feeling that I'm not the only one experiencing such a severe level of secondary traumatic stress unfortunately. Now the reason why I'm filming this video today is that I actually had other videos on the schedule to film today and I woke up today and I just like could not, could not do it. I could not do it. This is why. So rather than like totally give up and fall into a useless heap of a pile of nothingness, I thought I would make a video about it. Even if you have it pretty good right now and you don't have much going on in your life, you are still in the midst of the pandemic, which is a collective trauma. You are parallel processing that experience with your clients. And as evidence from my own experience and my score on the secondary traumatic stress scale, helping our clients process hardship while we're processing hardship as well can have significant effects on us. So it's important to take care of ourselves and try to mitigate as much of these effects as we possibly can. Well, let's make the implicit explicit and talk about some of the signs of secondary traumatic stress. It looks really similar to post-traumatic stress disorder, and those are the same kinds of symptoms that we're looking for. So things like feeling emotionally numb, noticing that our heart might be racing, feeling like we're reliving experiences of trauma of our clients or reliving fears of ours around the pandemic, trouble sleeping, trouble focusing, feeling discouraged, lack of motivation, avoiding people or other reminders of all the trauma that's out there right now. And of course, irritability, which uh, <laughs> been there, done that. I think you get the idea, but the good news is there are things we can do in order to help ourselves cope. Now the APA has this FAQ page for therapists answering questions related to the pandemic and they have a response to this question, how can psychologists and all therapists take care of their own well-being while they are trying to continue to provide high quality care to a population that is particularly stressed right now? So I'm going to link to this page in the description box and let's highlight a couple of key items here. So they start by reminding us of the basics, get enough sleep, eat healthy food, exercise if you're able and if you can access it in some form, and try to get outside at least a little bit every day. I also noticed that several of their tips repeat the utter importance of taking breaks. Make sure you take breaks between clients. Make sure you take breaks in between work days. Make sure you have time to do fun things. Make sure you have time for hobbies. Those all sound like breaks to me and thanks APA, I couldn't agree more. Breaks are so needed always, but especially right now. They also offer several tips for how you can find support and I think it is super important to have support specifically from other therapists in addition to your usual supports. Because guess what? Your therapist friends are probably going through a lot of the same stuff that I'm going through and that you might be going through right now. Now, one tip really worth highlighting because it's been really helpful for me is setting clear boundaries on how you consume the news. And I'd tag onto that how we consume social media because our social media news feeds can kind of turn into news echo chambers. And essentially you're just repeating intake of the same news and people's opinions of the news and etc. Two cents from Marie. And of course the APA recommends that if you need it, 
seek out professional help and I couldn't agree more with the importance of that. Now there's nothing too fancy about today's video, but I wanted to highlight and validate that secondary traumatic stress is a real phenomenon. We are going through a collective trauma right now as a society, and I know many of you all are also going through additional layers of trauma, and we're all walking with our clients as they process their own experience of the collective trauma and whatever other individual traumas they might also be experiencing. It's a lot to carry, so find ways to share the load with others, take breaks, take care of yourself, and whew, don't work too hard. Try not to work too hard. It's hard. It's hard work. And just in case no one's told you lately, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. If you're feeling tired, take a break. Take extra breaks. Take a, take a nap. Sleep a little extra. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. And one thing that I've noticed is as my irritability has gone up lately, I tend to get more easily annoyed with practice management systems that aren't working my way. Fortunately, therapynotes.com has a comprehensive practice management system that is designed to work in a unified way like a well-oiled machine. So not only do they have help for scheduling notes and billing, but they also now have their Therapy Notes Telehealth beta platform where you can meet with your clients through a HIPAA secure platform. And fortunately, they're offering two months to try it for free, including their Telehealth beta platform if you click the link in the description box. Well, I hope you all are doing as well as you can given our collective trauma that we're all experiencing. Leave a comment and let me know if there's any tools that you found especially helpful in order to cope with everything that's going on these days. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. So just to make the implicit ex... Oh man. Oopsies. Ugh.